You're listening to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast, and I'm your host, Rachel Roll. This is a show for kids to help them really know who God is. Today, we're starting off our Bible story thinking about some things that are tiny. I'm going to give you some clues, and I want you to think about some things in each category that are really, really small. See if you can picture them in your mind. Can you picture the smallest animal you can think of? Or how about the smallest bird you can think of? Or what about the smallest animals that are in the ocean? Or what about the smallest animals that are pets? What about teeny tiny plants? Or teeny tiny toys? Or what is the teeniest, tiniest thing in your room? Or what's the smallest food you can think about? You know, we don't often think about small things because they don't often get a lot of attention. In fact, we tend to think more about big things. Think about your last trip to the zoo. The elephants probably got a lot more attention than the ants, right? You know, today we're going to be talking about a story that Jesus teaches in the Bible about something tiny, a tiny seed. Think about seeds. They're pretty small, aren't they? I know that when I was planting in my garden, I was surprised by all the different sizes of different seeds. Some seeds were pretty big and some seeds were pretty small. Well, today in our Bible story, Jesus is talking about a very tiny seed called a mustard seed. And the thing about mustard seeds is they start out really tiny, but when they grow, the mustard plants get really huge, sometimes as tall as buildings. Let's listen to see what Jesus has to say about the mustard seed. We're in Mark chapter 4, starting at verse 30. Again, he said, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. With many similar parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. But when he was alone with his own disciples, he explained everything. See, Jesus is saying that faith the side of a mustard seed is all you need. But even though our faith might start out small like that mustard seed, it doesn't stay that small. In fact, as we learn to put our faith in Jesus, our faith continues to grow. Right now, out of my garden, I have some monster sunflowers. They're so tall, but they started off as this tiny little seed. All I needed was that tiny little seed, and that's what got me started on having these huge flowers. See, Jesus knows that we can't start out as fully grown, two-story high mustard trees. That's not going to happen because we have to start somewhere. You know, I remember one time I was down near a river in a place called South Carolina, and I was surrounded by a grove of these huge oak trees. They were so huge, they towered over the entire building. But when I looked around on the ground, I found these teeny tiny little acorns. Perhaps you've seen acorns just like that. And as I picked up one of those acorns and I looked at it in my hand, I remember God saying to me, Rachel, you're just like one of those little acorns. On your own, you're tiny. But with me, you can do great big things. And I looked up and I saw these huge trees and how thankful I was for their shade. And I saw how their acorns were a blessing to the animals and they were so beautiful. And I remember thinking those trees started out as these tiny little acorns. See, what happens is anytime someone believes in Jesus and they accept his gift of salvation, it's like there's a tiny little mustard seed of faith that's being planted. But do you know what happens when you plant a tiny seed? It grows. Those tiny little mustard seeds grow up to become these huge mustard trees. And do you know what makes all of that even better? 
Once a mustard tree gets really big, it starts to make more mustard seeds. That's the way God designed plants and trees to work. And if those seeds are then planted, they will grow up to be huge trees too. As Christians, it really does work the same way. Once someone has been a Christian for a while and they continue to love Jesus and follow him, their faith grows and grows. And it gets to a point where they can then share their faith with others. And eventually what happens is other people can become Christians too. And so the next time you're outside, I want you to look up at the trees around you. And I want you to think about how each of those trees started off as a teeny tiny little seed. And I want you to pray that God would use you to become one of those huge trees that goes and plants seeds of faith in the life of those around you. Let's pray. God, we thank you that we could start off with the faith of the size of a tiny mustard seed, and yet you can develop that seed into something that takes root and grows to be healthy and strong. Lord, help our lives to be like those mustard seeds. Help us to grow healthy and strong in you so that we can help others come to know you too. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Hey friends, would you like to ask me a question? Maybe you have a question about God or the Bible or something we talked about on the podcast. Well, if you go to the link in the show notes, you can actually call me and leave me a message. And you know what? You may even hear yourself on a future episode. If you would like to extend the conversation, I invite you to join our Patreon. For just $5 a month, you get ad-free episodes and family discussion guides that are created to help you have conversations around faith that will help your family grow spiritually together. You can check it out at the link in the show notes. Greetings and God bless. This is Tyler Burns. And this is Dr. Jamar Tisby. And we want to invite you to check out our podcast, Pass the Mic. Dynamic Voices for a Diverse Church. Pass the Mic has been speaking directly to the core concerns of Black Christians for over a decade. On our show, we've got interviews from theologians, historians, actors, activists, and so much more. Not to mention heartfelt, open dialogue on some of the heaviest issues facing the church in the United States. Be sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you there on the next Pass, Pass the mic. The mic.